Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Shanika. I am a travel histotech here in Cali and I make travel histology videos. Before I get into my video today, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you find my content helpful. And also do not forget to turn on that notifications bell so you'll know every time when I upload a video. Now, let's go ahead and get started. If you clicked on this video, then you are possibly thinking about becoming a histotech or you think about becoming a traveler histotech. So first thing first is congratulations on making that hard decision on possibly changing your life for good. I'm going to tell you guys um, the different steps on becoming a travel histotech. I'll unpack a lot of things in this video. So please get something to write with. And at the end of this video, I will be featuring a question or a comment of the day. It's easy to get overwhelmed very fast and very quick whenever you're considering becoming a travel histologist. So the first thing I normally consider when traveling is the travel company. In the beginning, you will not know which travel company to go with. You won't know any company. So you definitely gonna have to do your research because the scenario that I always think about whenever searching for a travel company, just think of it as you are going to the car dealership and you are searching for your car and you're taking a look around the parking lot, you're trying to figure out what car you wanna test drive, what car may be the best fit for you. That's the same thing or the same, that's the same scenario with a travel company. Once you go online and Google different healthcare travel facilities or different healthcare travel companies, the recruiters will be the salespeople who will help you find the perfect job. But a recruiter will reach out to you and they will actually see exactly you know, what are you looking for as a traveler, your experience. And then from there, they'll try to cater a job that's, you know, fit for you or whatever that that company may have available. Some of the big name ones that, you know, a lot of people may work with would be Comp Health, um, AMN Healthcare, Aries Medical, um, let me see, Med Tech or Med Travelers. Uh, there's a lot of different companies, so it's kind of hard to say, you know, which company is the best if you have not experienced working with, um, you know, different companies, but you won't know which one that you may want to take your first assignment with unless you do your research. Now that you've narrowed it down, my suggestion would be to probably narrow it down to at least two agencies at first so that way you can actually get the feel and the flow of how this thing is going to work because it is going to snowball one minute you'll be on the phone with your recruiter the next minute you'll be signed a contract and then the next minute you'll be ready to move or go to your first assignment so i would definitely tell you to probably choose two um travel companies so that way you can compare the two you can compare your pay rates um, maybe if both of those companies are offering the same position um, at the same facility, then you'll be able to see, you know, this one's going to pay you this amount of money and this other travel company may pay you a dollar more. So um, the whole pay package, that definitely t uh, plays a role in you choosing um, which company that you probably want to work with, what are the perks of working with that company. So we're going to be doing a lot of examples here so that way we can visually get the gist of what I'm trying to break down to you guys. So we're going to choose an assignment. Um, let's just say we'll choose assignment in Washington DC. Company A will offer you uh, $30. That's base pay. We won't even get into per diem. So just say they offer you $30 medical and dental and the $30 is including your it's not including your housing so they're paying you more but that's because you're gonna have to find your own housing so you take home more and the day shift is still 6 a.m. to 2 30 right and then company B um, will be paying you $25 an hour which was $5 less but that $25 an hour will include your housing and 
the same medical and dental in the same um, hours. So if we take those figures, you have to make sure that you understand that it's always what works best for you. Not anyone else. You can't compare yourself with any other traveler. It's what is is exactly what works best for you and your situation. And just say you're going to drive your car, and or you're going to fly because the company will pay for you to fly. If you're going to fly to your assignment, you'll just have to you know rent a car. Or if you're closer to the facility, you can always lift an Uber, which will save you some money. But once again, you want to make sure that your contract is going to work best for you and it fits you as a first time traveler. Okay, so now that we've unpacked, you know, as far as which company that you're gonna choose, so the next thing within this whole travel process will be how often you're gonna get paid. Some companies pay you weekly, some companies pay you bi-weekly. Um, we talked about the housing. Um, do you have any health streams that you need to complete for the facility? Uh, let's see here. Um, are you gonna take your car? Are you going to do a rental? Um, let's see, there's so many things up. Your PPD, are you up to date with your PPD? Major key alert, that's why it's important to have a great relationship with your supervisor. Even if you feel like that they may not be the best supervisor, it's good to have relationships with Histotex and supervisors because when it's time for you to go to different facilities, they normally ask for a supervisor reference. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Shanika, how can I get an interview if I'm in a different state? Do I have to fly out there? How am I able to, how am I supposed to be able to do an interview? But the way that the interview works for a travel job, which is like, I feel like it's so easy breezy. Like it's better than being in, in front of, you know, someone's face. It's actually a phone interview. Normally, um, the phone interview happens when the company is expressing interest in your resume or the travel company has a direct contact with the hospital. So you will probably get an interview very quickly. I will make sure to do a interview checklist for you guys video. So that will definitely be on my to-do list, how to ace in an interview, how to get the histology job. Now that the recruiter has worked with you hand in hand to facilitate what state, what facility, um, your housing situation, do you have all your shots in order? Um, let me see, are you up to date on your credentialing? Do you need to do any health streams? Now you've done an interview and now you've been offered a job. And now it's time to sign the contract and get ready to move. Getting ready to move will be the most frustrating, exciting. You will feel so many different types of emotions, you guys, when it's time for you to take your first assignment. And you, it's saying goodbye will probably be the hardest thing. Where there's gonna be a 13 week assignment, where there's gonna be, you know, where you extend and you make it a whole year at a facility. Whatever type of traveler that you're gonna be, are you gonna keep your home at your current traveling? Or are you gonna keep your home at your permanent residence and you're just gonna travel for the assignment and then come back home and then you'll choose another assignment and then travel? If that's the type of traveler that you're gonna be, then that's great. If you are a traveler like me to where you only take a little break here and there between you know travel assignments, I actually moved um, and I do not have a permanent residence so if you are traveling like me like to where like your job is your home then this is the best video for you so it's time for you to get to your first assignment so you're going to washington dc remember so, um whenever you sign your contract in the next two to three days that's when housing will send you your new address housing will send you your information through a secure email and that way you can actually look up your address you can know where you're going to be living and you can actually show up so that way you can go ahead and get settled before your first day of work. Just get to your apartment, unpack your clothes, make you know, make yourself at home, go out and visit the grocery stores, go out to restaurants, just take a drive around so you can get the feel of your community. 
my question of the day actually goes along with this video this is from one of my subscribers yana and this is from the video where are the histology jobs which i'll link over here so you guys can check that out and she said just in a general can you do a video of questions to what you need to ask for the staffing company considering traveling a travel job just seems like a really big leap of faith if you are used to a permanent employer can you negotiate your pay your housing your pay schedule your workload and reciprocity yana thank you so much for your question i really appreciate it and just like i've answered in this video um, traveling is a really big leap of faith um, but whatever that you want to do in regards to your career is definitely going to be scary. And if it doesn't scare you, then, you know, it, it's not big enough, right? But as far as pay, you definitely can negotiate pay. That's why I gave the two examples earlier with company A and company B. Um, but as far as um, your pay, definitely negotiable. It's either or, but once you make a contract with one, you can't switch and be like, oh, okay, you know what? I can't find anywhere to live. So I want you guys to find my housing because you've already started your contract and stuff like finding your housing, that takes at least, you know, some time for them to be able to sign a lease and do what you need or do what they need to do. The workload, again, that depends on the facility. Once you are doing your interview, your, your supervisor or your lead will let you guys know. Like I said before, it's definitely a big leap of faith, but once you do your contract and if you see, okay, this is not for me, traveling is not for me, I just really don't like it. But the great thing about traveling is that at the end of your travel assignment, if there are positions available, you actually have an opportunity to apply for those positions. All right, so that is it for this video of walking you step-by-step step on what to expect before you take your first travel job. Once again, um, check out any other histology video that I got on my channel. If you enjoyed this content, definitely give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your notifications bell so you can know when I upload another video.